Hi, I'm David Shepard and I'm the MLA for Edmonton Centre. Now you've probably heard of Rosa Parks and Viola Davis, but did you know that years before they took their respective stands for civil rights, a black Albertan stood up for his right to choose a seat in a theatre? That Albertan was Charles Daniels. Now, we know his story thanks to extensive research by Alberta writer and advocate Bashir Mohammed, who suggests it may be the earliest example of a civil rights case in Western Canada. Now, Charles lived in Calgary, and he worked there as an inspector for porters with CP Rail. That was one of the few jobs that were available to black men at that time. Charles was a fan of the theater, and on February 3, 1914, he phoned to reserve some tickets to see a production of King Lear at the Sherman Grand Theater in Calgary. But when Charles and his friend arrived that evening to see the play, they weren't allowed to take their seats. They were told they should sit in the colored section in the balcony instead. Now, Charles insisted that they be allowed to have the seats they'd paid for. The theater refused. They offered him a refund instead. Charles rejected that offer and he left. And not long after, he filed a lawsuit asking for $1,000 in damages. That'd be about $20,000 today. He wanted that for humiliation as there had been several other CP employees who were there in the lobby and seen him turned away. Now, when the local papers covered the story, they only spoke to the theater's manager, William Sherman, and in their headlines referred to Daniels as a nigger. Well, in a pretrial interview, Daniels lawyer pressed the manager of the theater and asked him why he denied Daniels his seat. And the, what was his response? Well, he said, the audience complains. We've had colored people come down in front, and anytime they do get in front and say sit down, well, we invariably have to exchange 18 to 20 seats. Well, in the end, on the day that the case came to trial, the lawyers for the theater were nowhere to be found, so Charles Daniels won by default. But not long after that, the decision was overturned. And unfortunately, there aren't any records of what happened after that, though we know that the theater manager did end up losing his job. That was 32 years before Viola Desmond, 41 before Rosa Parks. But thanks to Bashir, who did such great work in telling the story of Charles Daniels, we now know about this man, one of the earliest to take a stand for civil rights and the black community in Alberta.